Today I'm going to show you how to design split monograms in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to use the mug design setup for this project. I'll start by selecting the small straight edge mug and clicking customize. Once the template's on my canvas, I'm going to zoom in so I can work with the shapes. Start by selecting and detaching the mug design setup. Select the mug wrap rectangle and duplicate it. Change the color so you can see what you're working with. Next, I'm going to adjust the height of this rectangle to be half while keeping the width the exact same. Next, I'm going to select both the large and smaller rectangles and align to the center and align to the bottom. Using the slice tool, I'm going to cut that back rectangle in half and delete out the extra layer. Now I have two exact same rectangles side by side. I'm going to select both and group them together. Next, I'm going to add a monogram to my canvas. Using the text tool, I add a single letter. You can select any font that you like. I'm going to stick with the Cricut Sans font, but change it to bold. Two inch height works great for this mug wrap size. Then to put a monogram on each side of the mug, I'm going to duplicate it. Selecting both H's as well as the grouped background rectangles, I'm going to center everything vertically. This centers the H's along that center line between the two rectangles. You can then use the mug guides to make sure that you have your monograms centered on each side. If you do adjust one, I recommend re-centering vertically to make sure that you didn't lose that precise placement. At this point, ungroup the two back rectangles. Now we're going to slice the monograms out of the rectangles. You can only do one letter at a time. I'm going to select one H and the top rectangle and click the slice tool. I'm going to repeat with the other letter. Every time you slice, it creates multiple layers. So go ahead and delete out those extra half letters as well as the back rectangle. Now you're going to repeat with the bottom rectangle. Select the bottom half of the H, the rectangle, and click Slice. Delete out excess layers as necessary. This time I'm going to have to send the rectangle to the back. Select the bottom half of the H and click Slice. Once I delete out all the half letters from the bottom half, you can see the split monogram taking shape. At this point, I'm going to select the letters and the wrap design and attach them all together. I'm then going to select the shapes as well as the mug template wrap design and make sure they remain centered horizontally and along the bottom. Before sending your design to cut, make sure you hide the pen guides and attach your entire design together. Click the green make it button to send your design to be cut. Refer to the link at the bottom of this post to see full directions for assembling these split monogram mugs. 